Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss few questions on the visual force. Let's talk about it. Can we do DML operation when visual force page is loaded? So that answer is yes. How can you do? So first thing is you can't do DML operation with the constructor of custom controller in visual force, right? Then how can you do? So by using action attribute. Just need to use controller controller name and action attribute. Here you have to specify your method where you have DML operation. Then automatically it will call, it will invoke the method when visual post page is loaded. Okay, when you specify method in action attribute of page tag, page tag. Okay. Now Let's talk about next question. What is the wrapper class? So you can say in wrapper class is inner class in a second. But what is the purpose? What is the wrapper class? What you can do with the wrapper class? First thing is, let's talk about uh, the thing is, it will be useful for wrapping up two different objects or multiple different objects into single object, single instance. That means by using wrapper class, you are preparing a data model indirectly or virtually in every class. And you can find and you can do row wise edits and you can do inline editing through wrapper class easily. Okay, so defining a data model, a virtual data model or a, a indirect data model of different objects and then you can combine into single object and you can display the same thing into the visual force page by using wrapper class. Wrapper class is inner class which will be useful for wrapping up different objects to into single objects and it will be useful for row wise edit and inline edit also and it okay indirectly we are preparing a data model in the wrapper class okay now let's talk about ajax tags in visual force framework what are the tags we have which supports ajax functionalities in visual force framework those are our action function which will be used for calling your apex method from javascript okay whenever you have a need or whenever you have a situation to call uh, javascript i mean apex methods from the javascript you can use action function and action polar whenever you have the situation to call an apex method in certain intervals of time then you can use action polar action region Whenever you want to limit your action to certain region, then you can use action region. For example, you may have the scenario that on visual force page, you have different kind of uh, input fields. That is a search page. That's an employee search page. Let's talk about that. Okay. In employee search page, I have HRA, basic and TA, DA, these kind of required fields and submit button. And one search box for giving the... Uh, employee number when you click on submit by giving uh, employee number even there is an existing uh, employee with the same uh, given employee number it won't give you a result because as it is a required field when you click on submit button it <coughs> sends a form it submits complete form then automatically when there is a required field it won't allow you to submit and it won't really allow you to give any data so in that situation what you have to do your action which is uh, retrieving the database then the employee number given then you have to limit this action to that search box and the button and you have to avoid this action to be submitted for this required list. then you can include this search box and button in the action region and you can manipulate the data and you can display the data into required fields also that is about action region and again coming to action status what is the use of action status here when you open uh, gmail or uh, any other uh, websites if there is a delay then they will say that loading or something status loading and please wait this kind of uh, status things they are going to show that means they are uh, giving you the message that something is loading please wait for uh, please wait for the same until it's load okay if this show blank page you know whether 
what is going on whether it is ready to open whether it is getting open nothing you don't know anything as a end user for that purpose you have to use status uh, symbols or status uh, messages when page is getting delay or when page is running in background then what is the, uh, for that purpose in visual force framework we have action status through action status you can specify start text and stop text okay that means when you have a method which is having which is running in background then you can make it an action status you can uh, configure action status for the same uh, command button or something which is cause i mean which is performing the actions then you can put the loader or uh, any message in the stop text okay and you can end the uh, thing with the success through stop text parameters okay in action status action status is useful for showing the status on the visual force page when action is getting performed in background okay until action is the until action done you can show the status um, whether it is a symbol or a text or whatever it may be through action status coming to action support <clears throat> whenever you want to provide an event support for the particular component for example when you talk about the events in javascript what is going to be there on change on year on uh, uh, change on click these kind of things such kind of events if you want to support such kind of events for the particular component on the visual force then this action support will be useful okay how you can use this action support basically simply apex for example i have select you can take this also input field and you can use like this action support event name uh, event equals on change okay and you can specify the apex methods here this is how you can do giving event support for the particular component here you are giving the on change support on change event support for the input field okay this is how we can work with ajox tags in visual force framework okay all the best